In this session, we are going to focus on Kruskal-Wallis test, its concept, interpretation, and reporting. The Kruskal-Wallis test is a non-parametric alternative to one-way ANOVA. It is used when you want to check differences among more than two groups, and the data is non-normal, it can be continuous non-normal, or qualitative on ordinal scale. Let us take scenarios for Kruskal-Wallis test. A company quality manager would like to know if there is a difference in service quality received by suppliers, distributors and customers. A market researcher would like to investigate if there are differences in attention to social media among respondents with college, graduate and postgraduate education. An HR manager would like to investigate if the compensation offered to the three departments, finance, HR and marketing is significantly different. An educationist would like to evaluate the differences in attentiveness during physics, chemistry, biology, and maths class. Now, in each of the above mentioned scenarios, there is one dependent variable. In the first scenario, we have got service quality. In the second, attention to social media. In the third, compensation. And in the fourth, attentiveness. And the differences are evaluated across three or more groups. Now, in order to run Russell Wallace test, we are taking this example, whereby we want to identify if there exist differences in preference of watching social media ads across different levels of education. So how to run Kruskal Wallace test? We will go to analyze, non-parametric test, legacy dialogues, and K independent samples. Click on it. We are interested in education as our grouping variable. So there are three groups starting from one up until three. And we are interested in the other variable. The dependent variable is social preference. The Kruskal Wallace H is selected. And what we do is we press OK. Now here are our results. Now if we have a look here, we've got 76 respondents who have got postgraduate education, 52 who have got graduate education, and 24 who have got college education. Now the mean rank almost look similar. Overall, the results reveal through the significance that there are no significant differences in social preference or social media preference among the three groups which are the level of education now how do you report these results we've got a template here our hypothesis is there is a significant difference in preference for social media advertisement across different level of education now to report it what we do is to evaluate the differences across the three levels of education for preference to watch advertisement over social media was tested using kruskal wallace test the test revealed in this case insignificant differences and the mean value sorry the significance value was 0.317 which is greater than 0 0.05 in the preference to watch the ads on social media for three levels of education for postgraduate the sample size was 75 graduate 52 and 24 so we write 75 52 and 24. Now this is how you can run Kruskal Wallis test as an alternative to one way ANOVA and interpret its results. I hope the video would have helped you understand the concept of Kruskal, Kruskal Wallis test and how to report the findings. Thank you very much.